Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Zombie. So the game crashed, and we hadn't saved. So we're going to potentially, in this recording, uh, go back and see what we lost as far as uh, how much progress was lost and I think we're going to do a nice little comparison here of just how much how fast you could really run through this game particularly if you already know what's going to happen so we're trying to, so we lost all of the elemental all the things we did in the last recording completely I should have come back and saved after that point um, I guess we've now learned our lesson and anytime there is an opportunity to save we will uh, save Let's see. I really don't like this lockpicking minigame. That being said, I don't like most lockpicking minigames, so whatever. And smack. How did you get in here? never mind. You're clean, aren't you? So you must be pretty good. There's some kind of secrets on the paintings and. The game crashed last time. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. Hmm. So don't worry, you're not going mad. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, um, do come and find me in the lab, won't you? Hmm. So does the game just lock up when you, we see these? Always no, but there's some secret clearly that is around these ideas. We're getting broken glass animations. Hmm. All right. So, this whole thing is kind of nothing. We just scan things that we want to know about later, and we don't worry about things that we can't do anything with later. What's funny is the guy talks faster in that bathroom than he does in Sorry, the other scenarios. Another locked door that we'll deal with later. And then take the bullets. What's, what's interesting here is it seems like the drops are very pre calculated. This room clearly needs and wants more people in it. I'm trying my best to see where these guys are would even go. Like they're crawling down under there. Hmm. 
Hmm. All in the same area. So, it maybe if I get all four of the guys beating on the wall at the same time, they would do something. Well, that's kind of questionable. Like the the general idea here is, is that these four zombies have all decided to work their way through here. Let's see if we can equip a grenade. And this this will be questionable. Can we get far enough away? Hmm. Yeah. It didn't do anything. Didn't unlock this door. Didn't really move them where they need to be. And you need real C4, not just a grenade. So that was a waste, although a learning experience is often never a waste. So they're just crawling under there. They think they can reach me, but they can't. So their pathfinding is right on par with my pathfinding. In the sense that, yeah, there's nothing. I could use a bullet or two, I guess, to try and take out one of these guys. But I don't think it's really worth it. Maybe I'm going to use the elevator and it'll take me downward instead of upward. I suppose that might be how it, how it turns out. Almost got a double headshot there. Two for one bullet. Right. Welcome. Do make yourself at home. But please don't touch anything. This is all vital scientific work. Okay. I'll close the door behind you, just for caution. So we can't examine Sorry, I can't greet you in person. things right now. We get the Queen's letters. We didn't look at the Queen's letters. Maybe that was would have been something. And we got a newspaper. This guy is incredibly, incredibly slow to talk. He's like scripted to do Our some kind of animation. This terrible infection, you see, hmm. it's slow going as I have so few subjects to test on. Hmm. Like you can see that guy's green. And these guys seem to be just normal zombies. I'm sure you can help me. See. Still can't examine these things. I say, steady hmm. on, Elka. This guy just does not s speed up. All right. So while we're looking Master. at this, now here's how you could help. We need six more kills with the gun. Let's see, the Queen's letters. What does that say? Hmm. It's a letter talking about the Black Prophecy. So, they, the Queen knew about the Black Prophecy. Hmm. Then another newspaper. Thing. That is a 16th century ISD. I'm just gonna pretend like I clicked on those two things. Odd chap. Did you see any ravens outside? Hmm. Not our feathered friends. I mean those awful survivalist hmm. types. They actually believe John D was some kind of prophet. Hmm. 
I mean, what's the difference, though? Like, this doctor thinks John D was some kind of doctor. The prepper thinks that John D was some kind of prophet. So, it's been 11 minutes to do what took 22 minutes before. So there is a, a level of speeding up the process if you just know what's going on and are willing and able to speed run through it. So we're going to do the thing I should have done before and fingers crossed this means no, uh, no crashes. Hmm. And at least if it does crash after the save succeeds, we will be in a better position to not have to run through that content again. Although, this is the exact example of recursive gameplay where you have to go back a cycle and play again that I definitely don't want to experience and I don't think many people want to experience. Even in a roguelike game where some of that might be excused. Uh, you don't want to do the same thing over again. You want to do something slightly different in a similar, familiar environment. William Byrd, Elizabeth hmm. I's favorite composer, apparently. Right. I find it helps me work. That's a nice elevator. So notice it says loading here, but not saving. You're doing ever so well. When almost every game nowadays. Hmm. So, we'll just smack these guys and keep an eye out. Is that the elevator? Just opening and closing? Right, it wants me to go in the other way. Seems like there's something green glowing back around here as far as the secret passage. There's another thing to loot. Hmm. We don't have any map. We've got another bit of Queen's Letters. This might be a whole game thing. Hmm. Well. Yes, we take the secret passage. The odds of zombies being able to open a secret passage and knowing where it led or to be able to use it seems. Um, there's been no quick time events or anything, and there was no quick time events there. Interesting. So just a jump scare. I was a little surprised that we hadn't seen any jump scares. I'm a little surprised that there aren't quick time events. Um, now, nobody likes quick time events ever. Let's, let's just be honest about that. But they, they serve a purpose for these mediocre games in particular where you can have familiar, easy to understand gameplay mechanics. Uh, without having to educate the player on it. Hmm. Alright, All right, we've got a new spitter class. And they do damage when they spit on me, so... Now things have gotten serious. Yeah, that was... That's something that, to concern ourselves with, I suppose. Hmm. Now is we very possibly are going to run into zombies. 
that can damage me from a distance. Health all of a sudden starts to make some sense. And we're actually going to need it. Um, let's see. So, large mid pack is definitely not what I want to use. So, I'm going to drop this, take this, come over here, use this. Pick up the mine again. Hmm. I want to be careful. I've just realized you probably have no idea what a mega group is. Top secret, you see, but that hmm. hardly matters now. It's an elite group to protect the royal family. But the outbreak caused on the hop, and now all these poor men are used to guard the bunker. Hmm. Well, I suppose you could say they're still guarding it. You'd better be paying more attention to Dr. D. Like, I kind of figured out who Omega Group is. Although, uh, I don't know why it would be Omega Group instead of just Her Majesty's Secret Service. Or, or MI5. Or, something like that mega group seems to be a pretty generic one this guy's just playing the harpsichord he's programmed hmm, hmm. I suppose there is something to be said about the idea of having a a scene built around uh, London, Buckingham Palace. This is kind of unique. Like we don't get in the United States for comparison scenes me, thus, of zombies in the white house the nakedness whereby you first were tormented and the first plague that fell upon man was the wanting of science so we've got another audio recording from knowledge of your own self hmm. there's nothing in this metal container and it doesn't have a raven over it so like, if i was to try to interact with this metal container I can't now hmm. and it looks like this would have been the same way like that's that's the elevator so we could have run in here and taken on a lot of fighters that this direction and the uh, probably would have been a little bit more dangerous but I bet not by much can we jump over this yes so some things you can jump over like can you jump over the couch no can you jump over a chair no hmm the, the problem of course I think even for British people is going to come down to how deep have have an average person who would have been on tour of Buckingham Palace been able to go at all. I don't think they, they may not even do tours at all. So uh, the equivalent is if you were to go take a tour of the White House, they'll show you some stuff but it's usually not in the west wing where the president uh, actually does his business um, is my understanding of that and certainly I don't know how many people really have gone for that tour so I don't know if you really could say this is recognizable or relatable 
uh, if anything, I think the argument is pretty extreme that royal, British royalty is not relatable by any means. Here's a Molotov. I want to use a Molotov. What can I drop to, to use a Molotov? Nah, I don't want to use that. Where did that guy come from? These guys are crawling from the other side. You gotta get these guys under the neck. And now I'm at level up. Hmm. There we go. I kind of hate the fact that I have the shovel, but I, I kind of don't want to lose the shovel as it seems like it's probably the only time I'm going to be able to get it is once. Alright. Um. I could have Molotov then. Darn it. Alright. Do I have anything? These super high health items, large med packs, I could use, or sh but I probably should wait for another use. Hmm. The game seems to be pretty generous with the pictures, though we haven't found anybody else with... Uh, I... So here's a problem. I have no bullets. I need to pick up bullets. I need to put down something. Let's go ahead and... Drop that, and then loot this, and take that, and then do this, and then reload, and pick that up again. The patients succumb immediately to infection in the region where the malady enters the body. Violent convulsions follow, and their veins turn. Hmm. Seems like there's something over here. Yeah, there's nothing. A little bits of climbing. There's something here. But it's blocked. That looks like that might be an upgrade to a bag. Is there some way? We need to get that item. We desperately need to get that item. I suspect it's probably after a boss fight though. And I suspect that we're going into a possible boss fight. Alright, well. This is going to be a tough shot if I miss. Hmm. We see a lot of fire over there, too. Let's go ahead and turn off our flashlight. There's a slide under here. There's nothing in this. Jeez, it, playing on easy it seems to have... Also, really encourage them to, to, is this 
green mist dangerous? I guess not. It's not doesn't seem like it's hurting me. Seems to have really encouraged them to not give me as much items. So we have a code block door. Four, six, two, one. What? Four, six, two, one. It's not working. One, two, four, six, possibly. Just wasn't really expecting these guys to come this way, but whatever. body like dissolved it looks like no it didn't dissolve it just ragdolled in the edge all right one thing I think now we can do is use this that's perfectly fine now we saw We saw them crawling out from under here. Um, but this is still blocked. So... I don't know what happened there. Hmm. This looks like it's a secret panel. Four, six, two. Maybe we we're supposed to just guess the, all the rest, or maybe it's four, six, two, four, but then that wouldn't really make a lot of sense either. Four, six, two, five. I'm a little low on bullets, so I'm gonna take this guy out with this. The crazed grunting stuff could could have been different. Alright, let's try four six two We'll just try everything. Four six two four Alright, it was four. Not one. Seriously, is there nothing in here? There's a suitcase to loot and not like a save space or anything like that. And we now have Molotov, two Molotovs, which I guess I could connect those to to something. I imagine this is not a time puzzle at all. So this is probably just find your way around the fire. Alright, that's dead. It's an item. There's an item over here. Right, so we're just going to work our way next to this fire. 
land. I don't think that's gonna work. Is there a ladder on this side? Is there a ladder over here? Um, I assume if I step on fire, I'm gonna hurt myself. We've seen no evidence that we are fireproof. We can't jump up on this ledge, which seems like it, that would make some sense. So we have to instead Well that was a bit spooky. So Oh, is there no going back, I wonder? And we're getting more of these jump shot jump scares, but I guess you can just run through the fire, but boy did that take a lot of health out of me. Unfortunately, I cannot afford to not get these collectibles. So I need to go this way. I needed to have done that first to pick up. Well, that's just health, but we'll go ahead and drop that and, and then pick up the that you can definitely use especially in this bloody place mm. nice and quiet uh how is prepper talking to me this whole area was supposed to be like empty let's drop that cake It was a huge, huge mistake to to take the mines with me. Alright. I have no idea how I'm supposed to reach over there. So. It's kind of no jumping. And falling hurts you. So there must be some other trick because there's no way to get halfway off a ladder. I mean I can get down here. I guess we can try this. But I can't jump from there. And it seems like there's some kind of ladder but no not really. I'm going to end up having to use my health. I, yeah, there's no way you're drop, dropping down here. There's no way you're getting down to that. Not with the abilities that we've been shown. Running back that way doesn't do anything. I desperately need to get back to the safe house. Alright, how about this? We've got enough time to equip that. That is totally the kind of guy I would want. Alright, that didn't do enough. Alright, well he's on fire. 
still not enough to kill him though. And sure makes sense to let's just go ahead and use that. Here's somebody that apparently just died of something. Can't even figure out what it is. And we've been going 30 minutes, so we're now just looking for a save spot. Let's see. Okay. Alright, that worked for one of them. Was that necessary or helpful? Maybe. It did seem like it took out two people. Guess it would help if I had actual bullets. Oh man, this is another one of these guys. Get the helmet off. I wish I could actually finish these guys off with right trigger to finish it maybe it's just right trigger instead of right trigger and left trigger because that's what I've been doing that I guess that might explain why we haven't seen any kind of like finisher moves or anything like that I kind of wish that some of these suitcases and items would actually appear just spawn in uh, it wouldn't be realistic but it, it would help in some of the balance of what what I'm seeing in this game my fear is that this is going to get down to a point where the game is gonna get really difficult hmm yeah and I think we're going the wrong way so maybe up here there's a save spot and we've hit the other side of the building in some subjects Pockets filled with a rich, acrid pus form near hot, inflamed areas around the groin. I have extracted this liquid for further investigation. Getting interesting notes. Hmm. So this room strikes me as if I was to run through it, I'd probably just die. Yeah. And this seems to me to not be the direction they want you to go. It seems to me like that room probably ends nowhere. So you could have come up here and maybe taken some headshots on the enemies. Interesting question about why the Buckingham Palace does not have any kind of sprinkler system or anything like that, but I guess one may not immediately question that. 
I am so low on bullets. What was the patient that? must be restrained and cannot be calmed by any manner of herbal sedative. She seems ravenous, and nothing I feed her can satiate her monstrous appetite, as if compelled by a most foul instinct to devour all life within her reach. Hmm. Is this the queen? Of her bonds yesterday and would have gutted our horse alive if I had not reached her in time. Hmm. I find myself in awe of the piteous state to which man is reduced. A walking conduit, a mere empty coil which lives only to feed its greedy and carnal instincts. Hmm. Where was I? You must forgive me. I'm a little distracted. Ah, yes, Dr. D. John D. was a scientist, alchemist, natural philosopher, and all that. To Elizabeth I. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And D. wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Sorry, mustache. Alright, so we gotta get those bullets. It's easy enough to drop that. Take the bullets back. And here's the book he wanted. Yeah, and I dare not end the recording now without a save file. And we've got this map. Sure, we've got this whole map thing, but... What good is it gonna really do us? Backpack extra large. Thank goodness. Thank. And where else do we want to go on this? Does this end anywhere else? Hmm. I mean, I guess there might be a reason to try and run around and pick up all the things we. We missed, but I don't think that there's a great reason, and I don't think the fire is going to go out. So we've just opened the shortcut for later, I guess, in case we need to come back here, which we may. Uh, there was definitely something we missed, and I don't know how we'd even get to it. Following the recommendations of De Remedi Secret, I reduced the pus to a dry powder and discovered that injecting the oh my goodness. The subject God forgive me that I refer to my own wife as subject. Causes the black blood to retract and wither. It only increased it by two slots. Rosy complexion through the sickness. But alas, she then succumbed to one final fit. And at last, with blessed mercy, ceased moving forever. May God have mercy upon her soul and allow it now to rest. I remain convinced this volume offers practical methods for obtaining a solution. Hmm. Perhaps even the key to save us all. This is really, really ridiculous that the extra large bag, I know that there's only an extra, extra large bag. So we now have a crossbow, which we almost certainly need. Uh, so let's go ahead and set that as our new thing maybe we can get those bolts back from that maybe not hmm. and this is what going to spin us around in this and you can't I guess I guess you can. Geez, I wonder if you could have done this the whole time. Hmm. 
So we're taking the elevator back down, I guess. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's a jumps a jump scare there. And yeah, I know we we're going we've gone like 45 minutes, but remember 11 minutes of this was just at the beginning replaying content we had already played. And yes, it does not make any sense to go in a different direction, I think, than what than this way. So that we can come down this direction. It really is a kick in the gut, though, that you would come through all of that effort and all it really did was upgrade your bug out bag by two slots like we're not wrong here there's two slots here and these cross bolts crossbow bolts seems like you can only have one in the crossbow which would make sense i guess uh so we've gotten one weapon but we've also run out of all that we need for all for the handgun and we use the mine we used uh i don't think we used the molotov we used a grenade uh we really don't need this fixed turret ammo at all um we've got a little bit of health but we used our big health items i suppose now we can upgrade this so i could increase the firing speed or apparently I can't or increase the capacity or apparently I can't hmm this does have a scope but no silencer but does a crossbow really need a silencer so it seems like the only thing you can increase is the firepower and spread on this gun so the items I've picked up that would increase firing speeds not even useful. Alright, let's hope the game doesn't crash again. And then we'll end this recording here. Uh, that was, even without the 11 minutes extra time, it, it still was about 30 minutes of running in a circle to get a book and listen to a bunch of book uh lines of pre-recorded audio that they're all right they're just not great um, meanwhile we've also i suppose maxed out our handgun so it would make sense now to try and kill infected if they're alone with the hunting crossbow and get the upgrade on that looking at the map now we can see that there is a middle top and almost certainly lower section of Buckingham Palace that we're going to get to. And so we're really going to spend a, a, maybe half the game in Buckingham Palace. And maybe there's another area here and here. Or maybe it's just one more area over here. And there's probably some more areas over here. So map is getting a little bit bigger I suppose we've got several bits of the Queen's letters that I don't care to read uh, I'm sorry at this point so many games want you to read this dialogue stuff and if you're not gonna pay a voice actor to read it out loud to me then it probably doesn't matter enough and so that's uh, that's something we should just uh, they should either work on to improve or otherwise ignore. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the, it didn't crash, so let's end it here. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.